So this is how it's delivered in this nice little pouch. It's got a zip on it, so I'll take it out. There we are. And we also get this little instruction book with it too, which explains a little bit how it works. So flip it over, look at the back. And then we've got a battery in there, nine volt battery, which gives you about a week's worth of autonomy, continuous use. Um, but I'm told by the manufacturers that there will be a mains adapter for this, so you can let's plug it in and you know, have it switched on all the time. Uh, it also takes rechargeable batteries too. So we're going to switch it on. That's switched on with the uh, sound off, and that's with the sound on. And we're going to put the sensitivity uh, to the maximum. And you see we've got a green light lit here, and we've got a, a green uh, LED which is flashing here. So this flashing LED, all that means is that the device is switched on and the ticking that you can hear, that means that there is detecting uh, radio frequency radiation. So we're on the most sensitive setting, so it's increased now to medium. You see we've got the orange light. That's because I've got my wife in the room here with her cell phone because I just wanted to, to react a little bit so you can see what it was doing. Um, so her cell phone is checking in now and again uh, with the cell phone network. Uh, but anyway, so we've got, uh, if this green light is lit, we're on the most sensitive setting. That means that we have at least 0 0.015 volts per meter. And now it's gone to the red. So that means we've got a high reading on the sensitive setting. It means we've got at least 0.15 volts per meter. Okay, so um, ten, uh, 10 times more. Um, and so if I get her, for instance, to... Uh, there we are, it's doing it again. So she's using an app on her phone to, to, to make it uh, to, 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 to make it to work here. So what I'm going to do is turn it down to the least most sensitive. And there we are, fully anti-clockwise. And so we still got the green light here showing it's working. It's not making any noise, no ticking. Um, and for this to light now, so we've got nothing... Uh, the indicators, uh, the LED is not showing, it's showing now, so we know now that um, on this we've got at least 0.3 volts uh, per, per meter here with this lit and if it was at the top on here, if this one was to go then we would know that it would be at least 3 volts per meter. You don't have to worry too much about these actual readings I'm giving you, I'm just giving you this um, so that you've got this information if you are interested in but you don't need to understand this uh, to be able to, to use this meter but what I would be doing if I was using this is I would be turning it round so I'd be just below a level where um, I was getting um, it was actually detecting something here uh, which is let's see just below the, the highly sensitive point it looks like there's a slight delay I noticed, oh, there, there, there we go. Um, so it's as simple as that, it's very, very simple and that's really the, the beauty of it.